Hello everyone, my name is Tiki and you are welcome back to the fish farm. Today I'm lucky, I was sent about five pieces of abba fish, which I'm going to be adding to the three pieces that I have earlier. Like I said, the main aim of this project is to be keeping lots of African knife fish in captivity till they are able to reproduce. I'm going to be keeping lots of them. So in the process, I know I would have kept both male and female together with the hope of them reproducing. This is my own way of conserving this fish. I am doing a little bit of conservation. I have instructed some fishermen in my hometown to be capturing them alive for me because most of the people that I see that buy this fish are actually consuming them. But I'm trying to keep some with the hope that they are going to reproduce in our pond. So when they reproduce, then from there, we can transfer them to a much bigger pond. Right now, I was sent about five pieces and these five pieces, I think only four of them survived. And the four, they are healthy and I want to introduce them to the pond. Already, I have about three pieces that are alive in this pond. So, you know, just like the way the local tilapia does, these local tilapia in our pond here, they reproduce on their own. So they multiply easily. So that same idea, I just hope this edge also, this African knife fish can reproduce the same way. So right now we are going to be introducing them into the pond with the hope of getting more fish alive Okay, this one is dead. I think he died due to the stress of uh, transporting them down here. So about the feeding, these fish are basically fish eaters. That is, they survive by eating other fish. And what I'm going to be feeding them with is, I am going to be introducing tilapia, the local tilapias into this pond. Those local tilapias are going to be, be with them. They are going to be with them in the pond. The local tilapias will be reproducing, thereby they will be hunting the tilapias and that is what they are going to be eating because they eat live prey that is smaller fish in the wild so we are going to make tilapias available for them right now i have a pond where i have local tilapias and i'm going to transfer the local tilapias to this pond look at this one this one is not going They've traveled a long distance before they can get here. I think about 350 kilometers and they need to recover. It will survive.
So, in order for the gymnacus to be able to get something to heat in this pond, so I want to put little tilapias inside the pond. These local tilapias are highly prolific. They multiply and fill up any pond within the shortest period of time. Let's say in three months, they can fill up a whole pond. You know, they don't get big. The only focus is on reproduction. Can you see? Like something like this. They don't get big. They just reproduce and fill up your pond. So they are going to be serving as food to these gymnacus. If it were to be catfish, you know, it is not advisable for you to culture catfish alongside with tilapia because catfish are not good. Catfish are not good predators. They don't know how to hunt tilapia. Catfish tends to hunt and swallow tilapia live. And once catfish tries to swallow tilapia, the tilapia will react. Can you see this fin is filled with spikes? These spikes kill tilapia. It's very sharp. It makes the tilapia to get stuck in the throat of the catfish and the catfish will die. But unlike, unlike the gymnacus, before gymnacus will hunt this fish, gymnacus is going to attack this fish because gymnacus has a very sharp teeth. It will attack this fish, cut it into half before it starts devouring it. So we are going to be introducing this into the pond and they are going to serve as food for the gymnastics.